Hello folks, welcome back to Mixing Cage. Now today let's go on with some more detailed stuff. For example, I want to work on the bass guitar a little bit more and some more details on the drums and perhaps start also with the other guitar tracks and the vocals. Let's see how far we can get today. Um, first of all, drums. They sound a little bit dry still to me. Yeah, I still want to do some stuff on the snare and the kick and perhaps also add some reverb. Let's see, uh, distortion, that's what I need. Saturation, no, I just love this thing on my snare. See, bam, and that peak is just completely under control and it's louder. Hang on, let me check this with my headphones rather, so I know how my low end is sitting. Yeah, I still need to do some stuff here on the low end. Hang on, first rhythm guitar, they are kind of mining stuff up. Okay, now the kick drum. So here's a little something I like to do. F some parallel processing. Let's put this to the kick bus. Let's call this a kick para comp. Oops, yeah, well, what do I do? Do it like this and do it like this. And now let's give this one a major top end boost. And now some really hot compression just to get it very clicky. Uh, and for this, the usual um, mm, 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 compressor here in Studio One works quite well. So let's do it like this, let's do this like this. Okay, and now we fade that in. Okay, that's already good. So this just adds a little bit more attack and also a bit more of a consistent top range click to the kick drum. Now, let's do some further EQ moves here. Okay, so you notice this upper bass range, 100 to 200 hertz, that's get, giving the kick too much of a knocking character. I don't really want that in here.
Okay. Okay. Um, now on the snare, let me try out uh, some reverb here. I kind of want to use the Waze IRL. Now let's keep it like this. Uh, let's go to the plate. Yeah, that sounds really cool. But it's pretty strong in the low end, so hang on, wait a Ah, come on. EQ, EQ, REQ, always the REQ, sounds good. Okay, now for whatever reason, I cannot put in a pre delay. When I put this plugin on an FX channel, so delay, delay, let's put that in front, feedback all the way down, let's put it to milliseconds. Shorten it a little bit more. Okay. Now let's see here. Let me switch back to the monitors. Get some crashes going. Okay, for the snare, I still want to do some parallel compression. Um, let me try out the 1176 again. Oh, come on. So let's do it like this. Um, wait. Let's label the stuff to snare para comp and snare verb. Turn to the blue one, this sounds much more aggressive.
Okay. And now I kind of want to put some saturation on my drum bus um, here, the jump tape desk. You know what? Let's try putting that before the compressor. I, I love this thing. I really like how it smoothens out the top end. You can really hear it on the on the overheads. Okay, now let's put in the compressor again. Okay, that part now I need to check out with my headphones again to see how the low end on my drums is going. Yeah, I hear the room mics are kind of booming on in a way that I don't really appreciate. <laughs> um, wait, wait, let's do an AB thingy. Let's do it like this. Let's keep this away here. This out, take this out, move those out of the way, and put this one to a shelf. Do it like, like this, kind of. Yeah, the low end is a bit more under control like this. Okay. And I'm constantly muting the room and the overheads to see how those two interact together and especially how they add to the symbols. Because I, I, I kind of, the, the room, uh, sorry, the overheads alone are too dry for to only take up um, the symbols. And I don't really like that. And they tend to sound nasty at times. And the room mic um, is just too roomy to take up the bulk pack of the over of the symbols. So I want to have the two tracks working together to make the symbols sound the way I want. Okay, now let's try a little bit of compression on the stuff here. So, um, dynamics, let's just get the uh, R compressor in here. Doesn't really need to be any crazy stuff going on just to get a little bit of control.
Okay. Now, overheads. I also notice some nasty resonances sometimes. Okay, now the rooms, um, those need a bit more crushing, kind of, so yeah, we could go with a couple of different compressors, for example the 1176 again, or perhaps the H-Comp, let's see what we get. Yeah. slowly coming along. Now bass guitar, let's go on with that. So let's go to some very neat tricks here. First of all, let's um, copy the track. Um, let's call the first one bass grit and the second one bass low end. So Now this stuff is gonna go away again for the base grids. Let's push this one to 200 Hertz. Okay, first of all, let me take care of some dynamics on the base DI. Um, first, I want to have a limiter on here. This should catch these weird nasty spikes up there. Just to make sure that those don't give me any trouble later down the line. And now... Um, let's see, right, I need some gating here. Um, so let's just get a normal gate and set it up how we would for, for guitars. Okay, but I suspect I'm going to need to automate this later on, but I don't want to take care of that just yet. Um, I'll do automation afterwards. So let's check out now. I, I, I want to do some he more heavy handed compression. Let's give this a medium attack and a medium release. And a more hefty ratio. Okay. 
I almost wanted to limit this to really get it even out. And now this will go into TH3. Pretty red tone right there. Now let's turn on this filter again. You know what, let's switch those two around. Somehow I wanna have the low end to the left. Don't ask me why. And now let's switch this one around. Let's put here this kind of filter. So now the low end track is low pass filtered at 200 Hertz and the grid track is high pass filtered at 200 Hertz. And now I have more control over my low end. So now I also have a clean low end because of this. And let's see what we need to do with this. Perhaps just some normal heavy handed compression. And what I want to go a bit crazy on this one, really limit this. Perhaps give it a slower attack and a faster release to, um, to get that low end of the bass kind of pumping, or, well, pumping is perhaps the wrong word, but give it a bit more push, a bit more thump in its attack. And now we can bust those two tracks together. Okay, notice that low end track is, I need more control over this. Um, hang on, perhaps I need two compressors. One to catch some, some fast high peak stuff and one to add that extra bit of punch to it. Okay, now. Okay, this seems to work better. Okay, and now on my bass bus, I can do some more um, processing. So let's check out that low end again. Wanna make sure the bass doesn't mask the low end thumb of my kick.
Okay, now I hear this weird... Yeah, it's that honky range that lots of people seem to have trouble with. Here, yeah, it's around 500 hertz. That's always kind of boxy. And already the bow, the bass sounds really growling. Okay, now I'm noticing um, there's this kind of ringing sound on the bass whenever it's going to the upper strings. Hang on, let me first find this one with this EQ. So this is 2.85k. Hang on, 2. Point, yeah, something around this line. Let's put in a threshold, let's make it super fast in here. Release also super fast, kind of, yeah. This is enough, and then super high ratio, just kind of limit this. There, already cleaned up. Okay, now I want to make sure that the low ends is kind of very steady even when the bass goes to higher notes. Yeah, but actually, actually, uh, at this point, it's it's okay. Perhaps further down the line, I will have to do something, but not right now. Okay, let's go on. This one also needs much more low end control. I like to do it like this lately. I don't cut too much, but then I dip down that lower range around 100 hertz a bit. And that way your tone stays thick while still getting some control over this low end. Okay, right away I'm hearing a resonance here. Okay, now let's go on with these other tracks here. So now let's just start off with this intro first. So in the original mix, I also gave it some 
drastic filtering and here with the REQ you can get some really cool effects when you max out the Q. Okay, something like that. Now, already inside of the mix, I'm hearing uh, resonance here on my main rhythm tracks. Yeah, and it's that spike. Okay, let's leave it like this for now. Perhaps somewhere along the line, I'll notice some more resonances. Now, clean guitar. Uh, right off the bat, I wanna turn this to stereo. And let's give it um, a chorus effect. So let's put TH3 in here. Uh, let's go to chorus, let's try dimension. I'm liking this. And now, let me get a limiter first to take care of weird peaks and spikes that I don't want to happen here. Okay, and now a little bit of level and compression. Let's try the CLA 2A. Okay, okay, a little bit of EQ. Let me switch to my headphones again. Perhaps let's put the EQ before the dynamic processing.
Okay. Now some delay. Let me try the nasty delay. I actually make kind of an interesting preset in here. But I would have to adjust the timing. Somehow I'm I'm not feeling it. Um, let's just go to the age delay. Gotta play around with this one a little bit. Yeah, that's feeling a little bit better. Okay. Okay, now solo. Let's just give it some EQ first. delay uh, I kind of want to go for the replica uh, let's move it to straight uh, I gotta turn this to stereo Okay, I think for this video that ought to be enough. This is already long enough. I just noticed I'm already at it for about 40 minutes. And there's not much I can cut out. So I'm sorry about that. But we pretty much got a long way here with the drum mix. It sounds pretty much 
done at this point, perhaps just a few minor tweaks along the way. Uh, the bass guitar is pretty much where I want it at this point. And also the other stuff, they're just minor tweaks coming along the way from this point out. And uh, next time I'm gonna go into the vocal tracks. Those definitely need some hefty processing going on for this really hard rockish kind of style of music. And until then, I wish you happy mixing times. <laughs>